Hello, my fellow comic book collectors. This is going to be another unboxing video. I have this one box, and I think this is going to be a slab. I'm not sure what this is. We'll find out. It's a bit of a mystery. And um, I'll open them up, and we'll see what's inside. So um, I'm just going to open it. Normally, I sort of open it off camera, but uh, I'll just talk to you and do this at the same time. So uh, I'm actually um, expecting a pretty big... Uh, surprise thing soon probably in the next week or so I don't think these will be it um, but um, lately I've been trying to get the complete set of Star Trek Star Wars and Wonder Woman those are the three big sets that I'm working on and uh, another set that I'm working on is all the key issues All the key issues for um, for X Men. I finally got a complete set from one to twenty, and now I'm working on all the keys that are are within within X Men. All uh, that just from the whole set. So these I can see are going to be another thing that I've been collecting. Uh, is Goon. I'm, I'm a big fan of Goon, really great comic if you haven't read it. And these are some comics from Goon. So this is Goon, free comic book day. It wasn't free for me, but <laughs> it's a free comic book day uh, comic. Uh, yeah. And as I said, I was, I've been collecting Star Wars. So this is, this is kind of a minor key, I guess. It's the e Ewok cover. Uh, it's uh, Star Wars 94. And then I'm also collecting uh, tarot. This is a uh, kind of sexy girl covers. I like. I really like these uh, tarot witch of a black rose. So I got a few of those. This is a bunch of comics that I got from one vendor. Tarot, ninety. Oh, one eighteen. <laughs> Sorry. And let's see what else is in here. Another sexy girl cover. Tarot one twenty one. Really like these covers. Uh, another, this is a A or B cover of uh, 121. And another, oh, upside down. Uh, <laughs> another uh, tarot. This is a uh, tarot. I'm not sure which one it is. Uh, I believe it's like 120 or something like that. These are all like later issues of tarot. The series is still going on. Okay, so this is goon number 36. So now I have the complete set of all the goon comics that the were ever made. This is a uh, goon, I believe 39. And then this is like another series with Goon, Goon Once Upon a Hard Time. Really good series. You gotta, <laughs> gotta check these out. These are, they're gonna make a show. Um, he actually did a Kickstarter campaign where uh, he um, basically uh, funded uh, the film, the production of a film. It's gonna be like an anime, animation film. So Goon, One for the Road. And Eric Powell, which is awesome. He's the writer and creator of Goon. So this is Chimichanga. Chimichanga. And this is another one of the series. This is both series. Number three. Number two. So it's just like a three small series. And this is like sort of a crossover criminal um, Macabre and the goon. And another goon one, occasion occasion for revengeance. Revenge, I should say, <laughs> revenge. Uh, that's one of four. Two of four. It's the goon, lots of goons in this. And a three of four. Four of four. 
And this is just another little one uh, from the same crater. Um, from, it has like multiple uh, series inside. It's like Goon, The Strain, just a bunch of different little series inside. And again, another one from the Goon collection. It's Billy the Kid, Odd, Timely, uh, Old Timely Oddities. Okay, and it's sort of like just like has a bunch of stories in it. And the last one, let's see, the last one is oh, this is like a bonus. <laughs> he threw this. I guess he just threw in some extras. So this is uh, the Boys one, and it's like a free comic day one. Not sure what else is in here. It's, looks like it has two comics inside. I'm going to try to open it up and see what the second one is. Ah. And Resistance, free comic book day. So it's kind of cool. So it's a little bit of freebies thrown inside. And let's see what the next box is. Hopefully, this is a slab. <laughs> We'll see. Oh. It's actually maybe two slabs. We'll see. Okay. So you got to bear with me a little bit. A little bit, just one slab to open up. So this is going to be, as I said, I've been collecting Wonder Woman and getting, trying to get the full first series. This is a slab from the first series. This is a Golden Age Wonder Woman, uh, number 95. So I got a pretty good deal on it. I kind of negotiated a good price for it. I forgot how much I paid, but I think it was like a hundred and something or maybe maybe a little under a hundred but you know for a golden age wonder woman that's a pretty good deal and these will be this next box one more box will be a bunch of single issue wonder ones from silver and golden age i think mostly silver age oh okay this is like kind of a cool comic as well that i ordered it's a uh, green arrow uh green lantern number 86 this is one of the drug issues this is the second in the series uh, related to drug issues this is sort of the one that kind of um kind of the one after that marked the 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 bronze age and it's it's kind of a minor key it's it's you know it's it is a drug related issue and that was kind of a big deal You'll notice uh, that it still has the comic code authority on it, but it was a big deal that they were tackling the issue of drugs. So it was, it was pretty major. So it kind of changed the whole the whole space of comics because up to that point, comics were pretty lighthearted uh, during the Silver Age, and when they didn't really deal with big issues. And this comic, this is the second in the series, but. Uh, it really started tackling more serious issues. So it's kind of considered a major key. That's why um, that Green Lantern one, the one before it, is considered the key issue of the Bronze Age. And it's pretty pricey. So uh, here's some more Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman 115. It's kind of a nice one. I really like these kind of, you know, I don't know. Silver Age uh, comics. Okay, ship these really nicely. Uh, 117. I really like this one. This is like really great cover. This is uh, 113. Really nice cover. Just uh, I like this whole. <laughs> I like I like Egypt history so. Uh, I really think this is cool. The Sphinx attacking her. I think that's awesome. And this one's a damaged one. This I knew that this was a low grade. It's so somebody ripped the bottom. So uh, you know it's it'd probably be a, like a 1.5. Um, 
we wouldn't get that like one or 0.5 label because it's still enough complete that it would probably get a 1.5. But uh, if it wasn't for this one rip, it's actually a quite, quite a nice cover. It's pretty solid. And it's, yeah, it's kind of a cool cover. So this is uh, Wonder Woman number 40. So it's a you know golden age Wonder Woman. So that's kind of cool. And that's it. That's it for the unboxing. So some golden age, some silver age, and lots of goon. <laughs> and if, if you haven't read goon, I really recommend it. It's a very uh, well written. The humor is kind of really, uh, really smart. Um, and I really enjoy it. It's, it's a very good series. So um, definitely something you should check out. And I recommend you check out my other videos, see what I'm collecting, see, you know, make some recommendations of what you're collecting. And uh, please comment below. Another thing that I'm doing recently, and I kind of wanted to explain this, uh, and I haven't mentioned it in my previous videos, but I want to mention it now, is I am sort of getting a sponsor for <laughs> this channel, and it's my comic shop. I buy a lot of stuff from them. So what happens is I, I buy a lot of stuff from them, and uh, they uh, gave me an affiliate link. And if, if you use that affiliate link, uh, it will go to my future purchases. It's not like I'm making money, but I'm getting a discount <laughs> as a result. So I don't really need to make money from them. I just need, I like to get my comics a little cheaper. So you can get your comics cheaper and I can get my comics cheaper and you can support the channel by clicking that affiliate link. So check out my affiliate link for my comic shop. Recommend that they are one of the best places to buy comics. Uh, especially if you're looking for filler issues. I really think they're good. And they have a lot of keys as well. It's it's kind of strange how how many how much inventory they have in terms of finding those golden age or silver age keys. It's pretty amazing. So definitely check them out too. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.